Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu children welcome to another day and we continue with Umar radiyallahu anhu today we'll be looking into that is observing his small small stories where we can see the simplicity and the affection of Sayyidina Umar radiyallahu anhu towards children we will also look into his justice as he practiced it. Just a few examples, actually. So without keeping you waiting any further, let's go into it. Let's see Umar radiallahu anhu's affection towards children. Umar radiallahu anhu deeply loved children. This was not very common in the society for the noble people or people of a higher status to look towards children with affection. And yet, Umar radiallahu anhu, he had that mercy and kindness in him. So when we see in this context, Sinin bin Salama radiallahu anhu, his narration tells us something like that. During his childhood, he says that he was once picking fallen dates under a date palm tree. There were other children with him and they were all picking dates which had fallen off the tree. Suddenly, Umar radiallahu anhu came and all the children ran away. But he remained. When Umar radiallahu anhu came near, that is, came quite close to him, Sanin radiallahu anhu said, O oh, Amir al Mu'minin, these dates had already fallen. I just picked them off the ground. Umar radiallahu anhu asked him to show them to him. After looking at them, Umar radiallahu anhu said, You have spoken the truth. So I requested Umar radiallahu anhu, says Sanin radiallahu anhu, to come with me to my house. Because if I went alone, then all the boys would catch me and take away all my dates from me. And can you imagine? Umar radiallahu anhu smiled and went along with him. He accompanied the child to his home, giving him protection there and caring for him. Then there was another incident. Let's look into that. Umar radiallahu anhu once wrote to the people of the different regions which had come under the Muslim states now. He was giving them orders to teach their children certain skills that would make them really good. These skills were like how to ride a horse and how to swim as well as how to use arrows in archery. Now, accidentally, a boy got struck by an arrow while training in Syria and passed away because of it. So they had to write to Umar radiallahu anhu to tell him about that incident. And what should they do? But Umar radiallahu anhu told them not to stop from his command of teaching children archery. They just had to be careful. He wanted them to equip themselves with all such skills, especially because these people were living in regions where they could be attacked by an enemy. So Umar radiallahu anhu believed that they should continue developing their skills in a safe way. There was another time when Umar radiallahu anhu was going to visit the heads of states or dignitaries of another nation. So while he was about to go, he got on his donkey with his feet dangling on one side. Abu Ubaidah radiallahu anhu looked at him and said to him, O oh, Amir al Mumini, you're about to meet the dignitaries of another nation. Umar radiallahu anhu replied, 
Allah the Almighty has brought honor to the Muslims through Islam. If you seek honor in something other than Islam, Allah would disgrace you. MashaAllah, this is Umar radiallahu anhu completely practicing Islam and believing that Allah is the one who gives honor to the Muslims through Islam. That is when they practice Islam, when they follow all the teachings from there. If we think that honor lies in something else, like, well, not a donkey, not riding a donkey, not wearing unpatched clothes or anything else like that, it is not so. Character is important. That is what makes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleased with his followers. And that is what we see Umar radiallahu anhu following it so well, so completely well, mashallah. Islam had grown far and wide to so many countries and they all enjoyed the leadership of Umar radiallahu anhu. So naturally, lots of beauties and lots of richness came to the Muslims as well. But one thing we see is so amazing about Umar radiallahu anhu that it really didn't matter to him. Camels were laden with gold and silver and jewels and they would be brought to Medina. And Umar radiallahu anhu would distribute them among the people on the spot. Even after distributing such treasures, Umar radiallahu anhu would offer prayers in his old and patched clothes. He was such an amazing leader who had fought so many battles. And yet, in spite of all these achievements, his life was so simple. What he ate was so simple. And what he wore was so simple. He did not take this as his personal wealth. MashaAllah. What honesty. Well, children, I think we can observe Umar radiallahu anhu's simplicity and we can also see his honesty because when people are honest, they can be relied on not to lie, not to cheat, not to steal. If they tell you whatever they say is the truth, you trust them. Honesty actually helps us from deceiving or fooling other people just to get what we want. And honesty also helps ourselves. It helps you not to fool yourself either. When you're honest with yourself, you'll get a chance to correct your mistakes. And when you're honest with others, they know they can believe you. In other words, your actions and your words match very well. So if we have become a Muslim, then it means we need to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the ways that he would like. And honesty is really the very important thing that we have to see, that we try to acquire, we try to follow. Like if you forgot to do an important homework assignment, and the teacher asks you, where is it? What would you say? You have to be honest. For instance, we broke something. Like if I broke my mother's favorite thing by accident, and I know she's going to be angry when she finds out, then I need to be honest and tell her whatever the situation was. There are so many things all during the day where I can be honest. Let's try and find and see how we can adopt these two. As Umar radiallahu anhu had this quality that pleased Allah and he was definitely one of the people who was told that he was going to enter Jannah anyway. He was radiallahu anhu whom Allah is pleased with and he is pleased with Allah. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.